Hey beautiful souls, hope you're having a great start to your Monday and jumping in with today's live video which is how to know if you're living from your head or your heart. This is absolutely critical simply because it impacts every area of your life. Uh, the biggest one is relationships. Uh, secondly, it will absolutely be impacting your physical health and well-being and thirdly it actually will be impacting your financial abundance um, or how happy that you are in your life good morning lovely to have you on here uh, so um, I'm please say hi if you're jumping on as well so the reason why, uh, like I mentioned, that this is so, so critically important is that often um, a lot of people actually don't realize that they're in their head uh, instead of living from their heart. This is something that I have tuned in uh, and refined for myself over the years simply because our ego mind or our wounded ego mind uh, often wants to come in and uh, trade things over because he gets scared and because he's trying to protect us and preserve our well-being. Hey, Clarissa, great to have you on. Hey, Julie, lovely to have you on as well too, Della. So um, this is so, so, so important. So like the five really fast ways of knowing if you're living from your head or from your heart in this moment, um, because again, it often, uh, once you become practiced at this, uh, you can oscillate between these two um, when you realize, when you recognize that you're living from your ego mind. Um, and, you know, we've all got an ego mind. Um, every single one of us has that. Uh, and it is helpful in preserving our body. It's helpful in attempting to keep us safe. Um, but what it isn't helpful with is uh, happiness and uh, great relationships uh, because often it is trying to judge everything to figure out whether this is going to hurt it or whether this is going to help it um, and it keeps us in the feeling of separation and in the feeling of division um, and isolation and can definitely have us feeling lonely um, can definitely have us feeling afraid uh, and can definitely have us feeling guarded and defensive so um, some of the fast ways to recognize whether you're living in your ego mind in the moment is judgment. Are you judging either yourself or are you judging somebody else or a situation or a circumstance? Uh, another way that you can also know whether you're living in your ego mind um, or um, you know that's the, the main part of you that's kind of controlling you at the moment is whether or not uh, you feel like you're uh, needing to defend or to justify your decisions. So this might be uh, where you might say, no, that's not okay for me because, oh, because, you know, I need to take care of myself or because, and it's the justification, it's the defensiveness sometimes that can come up. Um, also other ways are withdrawal. So we might notice that we're withdrawing from others. We don't want to be around others. Um, you know, we want to be by ourselves. Um, and a couple of other things might be if you're trying to control a circumstance or an outcome. Um, so, you know, generally criticism um, or judgment, um, you know, either criticizing ourselves or criticizing others or situation circumstances. Um, it's the criticism, the judgment, the withdrawing, uh, the defensiveness, the guarding, um, justifying, those sorts of things will let you know straight away that you're in your ego mind in that moment. And often this is the biggest factor that gets in the way of communicating with others. Um, so often, you know, I've heard people say, oh, but you know, nobody listens to me. And often when there's two people and one person saying that, the other person is also not feeling heard, not feeling understood, not feeling validated uh, with what's going on as well, because our ego is so wanting to get across our point of view, our perspective, that we're unwilling uh, to hear what it is that the other side says. And underneath that can be a need to be right. Um, and again, because we've, uh, you know, been indoctrinated uh, that being wrong, um, you know, often leads to humiliation, shame, all of those things. Uh, we can often, um, you know, have some of those mechanisms playing out. I had that, you know, in quite a large way where I needed to prove myself. That's another way. Um, any striving, pushing, forcing, um, needing to control, all of those things are letting us know that we're living in our ego in that moment and we're coming from a fear position. No control is needed when we are in full alignment. 
because we're actually aligning ourselves with our ideal outcomes through our emotional energy. Control comes through fear, control needing to control or feeling controlled by others. Hey Helen, great to have you on honey. Um, definitely comes from feeling um, out of control within ourselves, meaning that we feel like we're a victim of circumstance, we feel like we're a victim um, of the situation that we're actually in. The more aligned you are, the more you'll be tuned into your intuitive guidance uh, and living from that heart center, knowing exactly the action that you need to take in that moment um, that will support you to live uh, more freely, more abundantly, uh, more joyously uh, in this you know, current world <laughs> situation, circumstance. I'm not going to dive into all of that, um, but it is such an important factor to know and to understand the difference between living from your head and living from your heart. Now, one of the reasons why living from our heart is so, so, so important is it actually massively impacts the level of coherence that's experienced in your physical body. Now, what that means is that all of your body is in greater alignment. It's now you're not experiencing cognitive dissonance, which is where our brain becomes compartmentalized. We go into survival and now we're looping negatively, perhaps with our thoughts, with our ideas. Oh, maybe I should do this. Maybe I should do that. I'm not sure what to do. Um, or you, there'll be a part of you that's like, no, you should go do this. But then another part of you that is also fighting yourself. All of these are ego constructs and aspects of consciousness uh, that were once created as pro-survival for yourself to uh, you know, keep you alive, to keep you safe. Um, but they all get in the way of really living a, a joyful and a happy life living from your heart when you come from the heart we express greater love we express greater compassion but not only that it feels amazing it feels free it feels empowering it feels like there's nothing to prove there's nothing to strive for yet everything is available for you that you need in this moment um, it is a powerful powerful place to live from the heart and to be able to bring yourself back there consciously through your own emotional energy is um, so 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 important now the thing that's really important to recognize is the more tired you are the more fatigued you are or the more stress perhaps that you're experiencing, the more it will activate the ego survival mind or that fight flight response. Literally, that's kind of what's going on. If you feel rushed, if you feel pressured, if you feel um, that you're not enough, um, then it activates the ego survival mind. And this is where we strive for things like significance. It's where we strive for um, needing to prove ourselves, needing to prove our worthiness, needing to prove our deservingness, uh, needing to be enough. Um, but it is a continual hamper to will that is difficult to get off and the only way that you can truly exit it is by coming back to your heart center and knowing your own internal truth of your own magnificence and uh, being able to connect deeply to that so this is one of the things that i definitely address when people are exhausted when people are overwhelmed when people are um just uh, you know in this constant state of stress it depletes the physical energy more and more which exacerbates the ego survival mind more and more meaning we become more judgmental meaning we become more fear-based meaning we need to control or attempt to control people situations circumstance financial outcomes um, all of those things even more uh, where we step greater and greater into stress worry and fear this further depletes physical energy and this is now in a massive downward spiral which um, is really really hard to get off that hamster wheel that downward spiral if you don't know how um, and this is where the more that the physical body is compromised through lack of energy through lack of life force energy through uh, lower emotional states such as apathy depression despair grief fear anger um, resentment uh, judgment criticism overwhelm discouragement all of those emotions keep us in a very low vibrational state they keep us in our ego survival mind meaning that we're more judgmental on self on others and you know it creates uh, particularly in relationship so much challenge and so much difficulty um, because where you're communicating from is not from the heart 
it's from the head and we all get very very protective and very very closed down and shut down in our heart energy and it's even harder then to express love to feel love for self and for others from this particular place this is why it's so so critically important a to take care of the physical body um, but b to know how to move yourself mentally and emotionally um, and spiritually to be able to come back and shift into the heart center to be able to live from this place in order to create greater alignment within yourself and to elicit the best from those around you Um, and uh, this is such an important key of knowing that when you are tired when you are exhausted that ego survival mind it's there to protect your body it's there to keep your body safe and it will grow in go into deeper defensiveness and deeper guardedness the lower that you get in your physical energy which continues to deplete its own system simply because we're negative uh, we're in that lower energy so um, I don't mean to sound depressive around this but it's so important to be aware of this because exhaustion often can be the driver of this as can you know limiting beliefs such as I'm not enough um, or I'm not deserving or I'm not worthy of love or great things or things in my life that um, could really make a difference as well so um being able to know what to do to shift these things is absolutely critical and if you're finding yourself in this place of overwhelm stress fear exhaustion if you're noticing that you are judging either yourself really harshly so your inner critic is super loud at the moment or you're looping with negative thoughts um, where it's like you know that it's like um, not true like mentally uh, but physically you are feeling that emotionally you are still feeling that or you're feeling down in yourself or you have that gut drop um, often uh, people can be living in shame for a very long time and not even have awareness around this it took me years to understand the biological effect of shame uh, which can often be a cloudy head um, that gut sinking feeling um, when you you know that that drop within your belly um, that kind of makes you feel sick it makes you feel anxious Um, all of those things can be playing out and often shame is deeply rooted to the belief that we are not enough in some way shape or form it is our biggest ego minds fear um, that we are not enough and therefore won't be loved and this is why living from our heart center living from that place of first and foremost self-love will allow greater love and compassion for yourself it also dissolves the illusion of separation from ourself to others as well so Um, if that is you if you're noticing you're exhausted if you're overwhelmed if you are experiencing a fatigue that is not healed through sleep meaning you're waking up exhausted you're waking up dreading the day um, you feel uh, negative or you feel that other people are impacting you negatively then this is so so critical so important please reach out send me a message Uh, it's exactly my area of expertise in helping people a to understand the difference between living through their head or their heart Um, but also developing the emotional and the mental skills that you need in order to change those beliefs, in order to come back to emotional mastery and to step back into, first and foremost, living from the heart center, but feeling amazing within yourself, being able to communicate effectively with others and to be able to create a life that you absolutely love. Uh, And uh, we can't do that when we are physically depleted. Self-sustainability right now is absolutely crucial more than ever before. We are in an absolute marathon, certainly not a sprint. uh, And having emotional wisdom and intelligence is absolutely what's needed from a place of true leadership and positive influence first and foremost starting with ourself but then also expanding out with our family with our loved ones with our children um, and to the wider and greater community so sending you all loads of love have an amazing rest of your day and as always please send me a pm uh, if um if this really speaks to you, if you're resonating with this, uh, and if you've experienced, you know, exhaustion, overwhelm, um, just feeling completely burnt out at this point in time, uh, it's really understandable that all of that's going on for you and you're experiencing that, um, particularly with uh, today's energies that's happening. Um, but please reach out, please get the support that you need. Let's have a conversation, see if and how I may be able to help you. And please uh, tag somebody else in this video that you know this could support or 
help or bring greater awareness or understanding to as well. Remembering those five things uh, to let you know whether you're living from your ego or living from your heart center is if we're in judgment, criticism, withdrawing, uh, defensive, guarded or justifying. Sorry, that was six, uh, but pretty important point to make as well. So absolutely agree, Helen. Becoming aware is totally the key um, because you step into a powerful point of choice every time you become aware that, oh, my ego is playing out here um, or my ego's taken over and is kind of like running the show. And if that's the case, it's coming from a place of fear. It's coming from a place of powerlessness and a place of feeling like a victim in the world. You are a powerful, magnificent divine creator here to create your own reality as you wish it uh, moving forward. So have an amazing day. And uh, like I said, if this resonates, please like, love, share this um, or reach out to me, send me a message um, or tag somebody that you know uh, that this could really support and uh, make a difference to you today. Have an amazing day. Bye for now.